So how long does it take to get your property up and running and through the onboarding process? It a lot of times depends on you and um, how quickly you're able to get your property up and running um, with remodeling, furnishing, any of those things. A lot of times that is, uh, it takes a little bit of time. How quickly you're able to fill out the forms that we have that we need to provide to get the permits and get um, all of that taken care of. Those are the kinds of things that are basically in your court. Now, there are times that we can help you some of that. We might be able to hire a designer if you need some help with getting furnishings picked out. Um, we can order some things for you. We can use concierge to meet packages and things at your property if you need to do that kind of thing. But um, that is typically where the owners might get hung up and it takes a little bit longer. Um, from our side, it's there's been a big influx of properties coming our way, which is a huge blessing to us. Um, but the the um, time frame it's taking is up to eight weeks. Um, we do have inspectors that have um, an influx of properties that they need to inspect all over the state. We have um, the the ordinances that have to sometimes have board meetings that they need to make decisions at. Um, we have photographers that need to be on their schedule. So there's a lot of different moving parts through this um, onboarding process, but we try to get you up and running as quickly as possible. Um, there, you know, for example, if we don't have the professional photographer come out, we try to get some iPhone photos in the meantime, but, um, you know, then we replace it as we can. So, um, we're saying about eight weeks right now. If you are someone who's already permitted and you are converting over to us from another property manager, or maybe you've been managing yourself, that usually is a shorter time frame. But um, wanting to let you know that it is taking a little bit longer than it used to. So this, as soon as you know, um, as soon as you got the property under contract, as soon as you like made that decision, don't hesitate, get the contract in, let's get rolling. Even if you haven't closed on your property yet, we can get the process rolling so that on the day of closing, you're getting in there, you're doing all the things that you need to do, and then we can get the property up and running as quickly as possible. We've been able to have the inspector come you know, several days after closing. So we try to get that, once we get that permit in hand, uh, we can get that property legally um, ready, you know, actually up and on the website. And if we don't have um, that permit, we may get a um, some violations and they call them violations. They're pretty loose um, term. It's not anything to get in trouble with. Nothing, you know, it's typically um, minor things that we can resolve and take photos of or, you know, show proof that we've made those resolutions and then get the permit in hand uh, a few days later. So if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us. We look forward to talking to you. Thank you.